Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about with you guys and kind of go over briefly, hopefully, is how to edit your uh, configuration file that we're getting our instructions from over here on the uh, install guide. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this real fast, and I'm going to go to the Hackintosh folder where I've downloaded the files that I've needed. I have OpenCore uh, downloaded <clears throat> right here, and in that same thing, I also have OpenCore Auxiliary Tools. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up OpenCore Auxiliary Tools. And let me go ahead and expand this into a full-size window. Um, I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Open. And what you're looking to open, um, like I said, I have my stuff under the Hackintosh directory, so I know where it's at, is you're going to open up the OpenCore uh, files that you downloaded, and we're going to go into Docs right there, and you're going to see something called Sample PList and Sample Custom PList. Go ahead and click Sample PList, and that's going to create, uh, well, a Sample PList. And don't worry about what's in there, what it says, or anything like that. That that's, makes no difference right now whatsoever. Um, anyways, we've just created a Sample PList. So we're going to take our Sample PList, and then right up here in the uh, under Edit, we're going to go to Generate EFI on the Desktop, which is right there and click that and you can see it says that it finished generating it and you may, you may you might get an error here it says these files do not exist whatever that's all right click ok there close that up here for the time being now on the desktop you can see there was a folder created called ef5 course let's go ahead and open that and don't worry about the boot but under oc you'll see a file called config plist. This is where we're going to start our little project out, guys. Uh, this is where I'd recommend that you start it out, too, if you're on a PC, Mac, Linux. Um, create a little EFI folder on the desktop and kind of start piling up your stuff right there. It's a great little spot there to start your project. But um, if you've associated OpenCore Auxiliary Tools with config, uh, or, <laughs> excuse with plist files, I'm sorry, um, uh, you should be able to double click this now and uh, let's go ahead and open that up and we can see our very first uh, template for our Hackintosh. Now let me go ahead and change this window size. This, oops, this is actually a little, little too uh, big for what I want to show you here. Shrink this down a little bit I think. There we go. We're as small as we can get. We can close this up. Uh, we'll go back up here. And I'm going to kind of show you how this matches up and, and, and how you do this. All right. Itch my eye, guys. I'm glad I don't have the camera on. <laughs> Anyways. Um, right here, starting first under ACPI, which is this section here. This, this, this is kind of how you're going to follow along, first of all. We'll, we'll, we'll block this out of the way. Um, ACPI booster device properties, it's all going to be right here, ACPI booster, DP of course is device properties, kernel, miscellaneous, NVRAM, all that stuff, you're going to find it right here on these columns, in, in this column, I'm sorry, um, and you just follow along in each section from there as we go along. Now let's go back up and go back to ACPI, and let me get this up here in my view and we'll show you the first edit here now let's move this right here so it blocks so that this makes a little bit more sense of what we're now seeing right here you see something that says root acpi add delete patch quirks now don't worry about the red box i just want to explain where we're going to find those and this is going to help you along as you're going along here now, root, don't ever worry about root. That's just kind of where it always starts out is root. But ACPI is where we're at right here. Add right here. Delete can be found here. Patch over here. Quirks over here. Okay. 
we don't have to be too concerned about this at the moment. We're not going to get into that. But that's all you need to know, and that's all you need to figure out. And hopefully you get how this is working now, before I even have done anything. Add, delete, patch, quirks. Add, delete, patch, quirks. So, starting with add, let me go ahead and take this box and move it down here again, so we can focus on this. Now, this is our add section. And this will, this will get us off to the start, and we'll do our first section right here, the add section. Now, under add, you can see a, a few expressions here, and, and, and it's confusing what they all mean. Don't let it confuse you. We, we can kind of use a, a little deductive reasoning here and figure out what it means, okay? So, comment and path, we can see that it says ssdt-plug-aml. And let's go ahead and find that, SSDT dash plug dash AML, and there it is, okay? This is one of those AMLs that actually comes with it. You don't have to download this one or search for this one to download in a re uh, repository somewhere. Uh, it comes with it. So you can see that under enabled, it says true, but under our box, under enabled, it says false. So according to this, we need to set this to true. Look at that. Now it's true. So ssdt-plug-aml right here in our box is true. Okay, so we know that's going to work for us. Now, regardless of all this other junk that's in there that maybe we don't know what this means, uh, one thing for certain that we know is this is true. Now, we can actually go ahead and if we want, we could just highlight these ones that are not listed here and we can right click and click delete item and that's going to remove them from there and then uh, same thing with these let me get rid of these real fast here delete item just like that or else you know like I said right click delete them you can do them one by one I'd rather do them all at the same time but all right so here's our first one guys uh, let me go ahead and reduce that back down under add, ssdt-plug-aml, there it is, enabled, true, yes it is. Now, before we proceed to the next box or anything, just, just do this as you go along. You, you know you got it, click save, click save, okay? Just that simple, guys. <laughs> that way you don't go, oops, and, on something and then have to go back and start a bunch of stuff over again okay like i said take the take your time with this because this can be frustrating for a lot of guys to learn um like i said you can cheat and download the file that i'm going to leave at the end of this video but i want you guys to learn this that's why i'm taking the time and uh out of my uh video making time to show you how this is done because i want you to learn this all right anyways so here's our delete section so we can go ahead and click this and we can see under delete that we need comment right here is delete cpu pm uh boolean all is true so we need to put this on on true and then enabled is true and we just look and make sure everything matches like the data the number we can figure this out guys come on look at this here's five th three five i mean not that it's relevant to us but we're just going to look anyways and make sure that the numbers that we're seeing on this thing is matching our tables here okay and then moving right down here's one down here here's delete cpu zero this same thing true true okay so there's nothing left there. Let's let's go ahead and set this in the middle. We're going to go ahead and click save. Now let's see what we've done here just in this, guys. So if we go to add, we've done the first part right there and put the correct AML in that it's saying that we need. Under delete, we've changed these values the way that it says that we need. And now we can go down to the booster section 
and see if there's any changes there and there's actually not in this one so we go down to device properties and look at this we need to make some changes here if we're using a 6 series motherboard luckily for us we're using a 7 so this doesn't apply but i would still read this section there is stuff that is relevant here uh, for our build for instance um right here uh is something that we need to change um like maybe like with our video like this code here the apple ig platform id um would be something that we'd have to change for our video but again i'm getting into hardware but so this is this this kind of goes along with it when i'm talking about this because <clears throat> oh excuse me when we start changing values like let me see here nvram values like our our, our boot our uh, uh, boot arguments it helps to know these things and have this uh, identified correctly otherwise it's not a boot or just anyways i'm sorry i'm babbling i'm babbling <laughs> anyways i want to get back I, I i do that i lose focus really need to up my dosage of uh, Prozac but anyways um so yeah guys that's how we do our edits and let me let me get back there so that we're not confusing you more sorry that's how the edits are done and you just follow that along word for word literally guys I, I can't stress that enough word for word and don't skip anything read it don't just you know look at the pictures and go okay there's that read it because there's important information there but uh i'm babbling here again let me go ahead and stop recording here and we'll get back to something else <laughs> 